Uber is launching a new program here in the Queen City with the purpose of prompting trust and peace of mind. This week, drivers of the ride-sharing app will know more about who is getting into their car before their passenger door even opens. Now, it's all thanks to a new verification program. Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young joining us now. Taylor, you spoke with Uber about this pilot program. What led up to this? Why are they doing it? Yeah, really input from drivers. So the, for the millions of Uber drivers out there, they are essentially letting strangers in and out of their cars on a daily basis. So enough of these drivers came forward and said, hey, we want to know that the people getting in our car are at least who they say they are. So the new pilot program is called the Rider Verified Badge, or similar to the old blue check mark on Twitter. So it verifies again that you are exactly who you say you are. So the program works in two ways. For the vast majority of people who take Ubers, they won't have to do anything at all. Uber says it will run your name and the phone number that's linked to your account and cross check it with a third party database. But for if that doesn't work for some reason, riders then have the option to upload a picture of their ID. So drivers can then see this verification badge when they decide to pick up your ride or not. We've heard from drivers that they want this. They want to know more about the people who get in and out of their car every day so that they can have confidence they're going to be safe driving for Uber. And so we listened to that feedback and really wanted to do this for safety purposes. So here's the question. What happens if people, you know, they want to get a ride, but they can't get verified what do they do? Can they get a ride? Yeah, so maybe they don't, they can't get verified or they don't want to. Mm. Um, so, you know, they can still get a ride. That's still an option here. But if you've driven an Uber anytime soon or in the last couple of years, you know that rider drivers rather can choose to accept your ride or not. So I think what will happen is that more drivers may be more apt to look if you are verified or not. And if if you're not and they don't want to pick you up because they don't trust that you are who you are, um, you could end up just maybe not getting a ride and maybe people will feel more pressured to get verified because of that. I, I know that Charlotte is where this is launching. Why Charlotte? And are there other cities that are going to piggyback on this? Yeah, so Uber specifically show, uh, chose Charlotte, but also 11 other cities as well. And so this um, pilot program, they're going to pretty much see how it goes, look at the pros and cons, maybe make some tweaks. And if it is a success, it says it will, it plans to roll this out across the entire country. So I think that Uber is becoming a lot like a lot of other social media sites, or it's not necessarily mm -hmm. a social media site, but kind of mimicking that verification. Yeah. Um, to keep drivers safe. Got to get your blue check. Mm -hmm. That's exactly <laughs> right, even now on Uber. All right.